if you've come across this video, you're probably in the market for a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Now, I'm gonna be giving you 5 compelling reasons on why a plug-in hybrid might be a perfect vehicle for you. So unang-una, pag-usapan natin yung kanyang price tag. Compared to electric cars, though, yun nga, I've mentioned in my other video that electric car prices have been coming down over the past few years, plug-in hybrids sa totoo lang are actually much cheaper. Because syempre, a plug-in hybrid has a smaller battery compared to a pure electric vehicle, but compared to a normal hybrid, they tend to have a much bigger battery pa rin. So basically, in terms of the pricing spectrum, they're somewhere along the middle. So versus a comparable electric vehicle in BMW's lineup, a plug-in hybrid is actually, again, yun nga, much less in terms of pricing compared to that equivalent electric vehicle. And actually, sa to lang, not just even a comparable electric vehicle, but in the X5 plug-in hybrid's case, it actually costs even less than the equivalent M Sport diesel. So, hulaan nyo nga anong SRP na itong kotse nito? I am just gonna be giving you guys a few context on how well-priced this car is. So, it gets the B58 inline-6. So, it's basically an engine that I love so much as you're gonna see in my reviews of the BMW M340 and other inline-6 BMW gas-powered cars. And, you know, with the B58 inline-6, it sounds nice. Maganda hatak niya. It's buttery smoothing hatak niya. And, since it's been augmented by an electric motor, well, yeah, in terms of response, <laughs> yeah, as in, it's very snappy. So, going back to the price, wala na nga magkana itong BMW X5 plug-in hybrid. 7? 8 million? Actually, it's under 7 billion pesos. And to be precise, it actually costs 6 million 990,000 pesos. That is really good value for money, guys. That is really good value for money, especially when you consider the fact that this is pumping out more than 470 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. And that basically brings me to point number two. So with this BMW X5 plug-in hybrid, or actually just any plug-in hybrid in general, they tend to be faster than their pure ICE counterparts, their pure gas counterparts, or even compared to a normal hybrid. That's because with plug-in hybrids kasi, they tend to have very powerful electric motors and therefore much bigger batteries. Because of the more powerful electric motor, this car can pretty much run on pure electric mode at far higher cruising speeds. Because with a non-plug-in hybrid, for example, or basically nga just any other hybrid, they can only usually coast at high speeds but not accelerate at high speeds or basically overtake in pure electric mode at high speeds. But here with the plug-in hybrid, it is actually the electric motors that are dominating the driving experience. The gas engine will usually just supplant the powertrain. And yun nga, having mentioned power kanina, we're gonna put the car in sport mode itong BMW X5 plug-in hybrid. So now the electric motor and the gas engine are working in tandem with each other. Downshift a bit. <laughs> Again, plug-in hybrid. The electric motors are augmenting the gas engine, providing you with instant power and instant response. This X5 plug-in hybrid is really unlike your usual plug-in hybrid. This is both efficiency and performance, guys, in this mid-sized luxury SUV. Again, going back to the price, 6.9 million pesos. It's much, much faster compared to the M Sport diesel, and it also costs much less. Again, best of both worlds. Basically, you're getting a cheaper car that is also both faster and much more efficient. So point number three with the plug-in hybrid, you can pretty much think of these cars as two cars in one. And that's because, sabi ko nga kanina, the electric motors in these cars are much more powerful and therefore, they also need much more bigger batteries. The upside to that is, Plug-in hybrids, the reason why you need to plug in these cars compared to a normal hybrid is all because of that larger battery. In this case, 
the BMW X5 plug-in hybrid can travel up to 100 kilometers in pure electric range. So just imagine if you're gonna be going here from Santa Rosa, Laguna, all the way to Alabang and back here to Santa Rosa, Laguna, wala pang 100 kilometers yung tinravel mo. Now, the advantage to that is, the reason why I say it's two cars in one is because if you're just gonna be driving naman daily in within the car's pure electric range, you're not even using the gas engine at that point. You're just gonna be using the gas engine if either one, you want more performance kasi wala lang, you wanna enjoy the full 487 horsepower with this car. But yun nga, for the most part, you're just gonna be able to cruise in pure electric mode in your daily driving commutes. As you're gonna be seeing here in this statistic, most Filipino drivers drive daily within this average distance. And as you're gonna be seeing, with this BMW X5 plug-in hybrid, they're actually most plug-in hybrids in the market, their pure electric ranges tend to fall way beyond the average driving distance of a Filipino driver. So basically, it's an electric car within your daily commute and a very efficient hybrid car if you're gonna be driving this car in a much longer distance. Again, two cars in one, guys. So syempre, the other advantage to having that pure electric range for your daily commutes is of course much lower operating costs because sin nga again it's basically an electric car within your daily driving commutes but beyond that it becomes your normal very efficient hybrid and therefore especially if you're driving lang naman in a week within that pure electric range you're practically not spending any money on fuel remember in my electric car video na sinabi ko na charging is much cheaper compared to gassing up well that of course applies here at the same time then with a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle that is even taking into account even when you don't have a solar panel it's still much cheaper pa rin to charge an electric car or a plug-in hybrid compared to running that car with gas again take a look at these numbers you're gonna see the battery size of the plug-in hybrid bmw x5 along with today's usual electric costs and dun pa lang, it is already cheaper to charge a car than it is to basically fill up with fuel. Add that up to a much longer period of time and yun nga, you're saving a lot of money with a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Granted though, that you charge this car as intended and you use a plug-in hybrid as intended. The full benefits of a plug-in hybrid are basically only experienced if you treat these cars as intended. <laughs> Finally, with a plug-in hybrid, another benefit of these cars is that, well, alam naman natin na with an electrified vehicle here in the Philippines, you are pretty much exempt from coding. So, basically, you already have two cars in one, yet at the same time, you don't even need a second car with a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle because yun nga, you don't need to worry about coding here in the Philippines if we're gonna be going to our very congested cities like Manila, Cebu, Davao, mga ganyan. And so basically, that is why it's no wonder that here in the Philippines, a lot of automakers like BMW are offering well-engineered electrified choices. So basically, BMW has EVs for you if you're ready for the full electric future and the charging infrastructure in your area will fit your needs. Or you can have a plug-in hybrid if you're still worried about stuff like rate anxiety, you still want the oral pleasure of a gas engine, or yun nga, you're planning to go to places, basically like for example, Pagod Pod in Locos Norte, na, let's be honest, is still pretty much fragmented in terms of their charging infrastructure. So now that we've talked about how plug-in hybrids work, Let's now talk about this brand new BMW X5 plug-in hybrid. So, in terms of the way the car looks, because well, this is a BMW, so they really do make a solid first impression. Basically, this car looks very athletic, very sporty, and here in the X5 plug-in hybrid, you get here a standard the M Sport package. So you have a very sporty front end. You also have a kit the grill, by the way, which glows at night along with, of course, a blue highlight surrounding the BMW logo to indicate that this is the electrified version of the BMW X5. Now, as you're gonna move towards the side, you're gonna see here lovely 21-inch wheels, which I think is a very nice opportunity to highlight as well these 
large and very sporty M Sport brakes. Because yun nga, as mentioned, this is the M Sport version, and therefore you get stuff like these lovely M Sport brakes, which has better stopping power, and that's mated, by the way, to this car's air suspension. So again, yun nga, in terms of drivability, as we've seen kanina, the X5 is really unparalleled in terms of sportiness and comfort in the segment. And then, yun nga, because it's a plug-in hybrid, you have here a charge port to basically nga, charge up this BMW X5 plug-in hybrid. As we move towards the back, you're gonna see that the rear end of the X5 looks very sporty with this Y-shaped taillight. And of course, yun nga, with the M Sport package, you also have here a very sporty rear bumper. So, in terms of the way it looks, it's pretty much similar pa rin to the standard BMW X5. And that's actually by design because BMW's design philosophy basically is to normalize electrification in a sense that if you're gonna be going from the diesel or the plug-in hybrid X5, there's still a sense of familiarity with the way these cars function and the way they look. So it's a good time for us to hop inside the BMW X5 plug-in hybrid to see what else this car has to offer for 6.9 million pesos. So now that we've stepped inside here in the brand new BMW X5 plug-in hybrid, well as you're gonna see here in terms of the interior, you have to remember that as I've said in my review of this car, the interior is very lovely, it's very premium, filled with a lot of plush materials all around the interior. So you have leather here on top of the dash, on the doors, and basically anywhere you touch. It's a very luxurious interior, very premium. And let's go back again to this plug-in hybrid's price point. So remember when I said that this car costs 6.9 million pesos? This is actually the most well-spec and the most fully loaded version. So in terms of the features, yun nga, you have the Harman Kardon surround sound system, you have here the very comfy and highly adjustable front seats, and along with that, you have also a power adjustment for the steering wheel. Then of course, you have this very large and very sharp iDrive 8.5 infotainment system. So as I've always said again naman in all of my reviews, the infotainment system is very nice, it's very high-tech, it's very comprehensive in kanya mga features. BMW software is really second to none in the segment because it's very functional and it really ties in really well to your smartphone because like every other BMW coming out since last year, this car comes with BMW connected drive. So basically, you're able to control various functions of the vehicle, like of course your engine, your electric motor, in order to start up the vehicle. So let's take some palamigan, yung interior, because sa kabilang kotse sa araw, you can control that through your smartphone with the My BMW app. At the same time, you can also ditch the key altogether and use your smartphone as your digital key for once again yung the My BMW app. Apart from connected drive, one of the other functions that this BMW X5 plug-in hybrid has is a full suite of advanced driver assistance systems. Because here in the X5 plug-in hybrid, this car comes with not just automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, and blind spot warning, but actually, you get here the entire driving assistant professional suite. So with that package, you now get full speed adaptive cruise control that works in stop and go traffic, along with even lane centering. So it really, it's a very fully loaded car at this point, itong BMW X5 plug-in hybrid. And really, in terms of value for money, this BMW X5 plug-in hybrid, I think, is really unparalleled in terms of the value for money equation. Again, even if you're in the luxury segment, let's be honest, you really want to get the best and the most out of your hard-earned money. So, with that in mind, let's talk about in the back seats, which as you're gonna see nga here with the X5 plug-in hybrid, there's a lot of space here the back for your passengers. So, legroom is actually really good. And in terms of headroom, once again, it's really, really good. Then as for features, you have here your own sunshade, along with two zone climate control here at the back of the BMW X5, and of course, two USB fast charging ports. So, in terms of the cargo area naman ngayon, here in the BMW X5 plug-in hybrid, as we're gonna see yun nga, once again, there's plenty of space back there. It is really a spacious and practical car, itong X5 plug-in hybrid. So as mentioned, 
the BMW X5 plug-in hybrid costs under 7 million pesos. And that of course includes a portable flexi charger, a 5-year or 200,000 km comprehensive vehicle warranty, along with an 8-year or 120,000 km warranty for the X5 plug-in hybrid's battery.